What's up guys? Ron Blue back again with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing a guitar that is um, a special guitar for me. Um, and that is the Fender Telecaster American Performer Humbucker Single Coil Model. Now this guitar is very significant for me because this is my first American guitar, American made guitar. Um, all my other guitars have came from Indonesia, China, Mexico. Um, I think I actually have a few that came from India as well, I believe. Um, but so this is my first um, American guitar. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to open it up for you guys and, you know, talk you through, you know, how I got to this point and what I had to do to um, get this guitar. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. All right, so here's the guitar here. And um, of course, well, this is the box that the guitar is currently in. Um, online at Guitar Center, it actually shows that this guitar is vintage white, but luckily I was able to go into an actual store, um, a Guitar Center um, near near my house and um, discover that this is not vintage white. This is more so a buttercream color. It's like a yellow, uh, butter popcorn yellow. Like it's, it's blatantly yellow. So Guitar Center, if you see this, you might want to change the description because if someone orders this online, they're going to be upset of the color because um, this is not, there's no way that this is a vintage white but anyway um so let's just pop this thing open so this guitar is very um special to me because i've i've had plenty of uh fender guitars over the years actually um my first guitar was one of my first electric guitars was a Fender Strat. And coming from my um, Ibanez um, that was given to me, it was such a huge jump in weight um, till I instantly, you know, I, I didn't like, I mean, I love the way it looked when I saw the people I admire playing it. So like John Mayer, Jimi Hendrix, a plethora of other guitars um, when I saw them playing I'm like oh I want one of those as well when I finally got one I realized how heavy it was like I said coming from my Ibanez which is a typically um, a lighter guitar um, there was no way there was nothing I could do with it basically so I just sent it back and um, and, and veered off into like the Schecters and stuff like that, and, or uh, Par Reed Smith too. And um, so, you know, as I got used to playing, um, I finally decided to go back into the Fender family. And this is a little different a um, little different case than like the Mexican guitars. Um, a little bit more secure, a little bit more cushioned. Um, it has the Fender logo here along with the Amok Pick zipper, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I went back into the Fender family um, playing around with different Mexican um, HSS um, single coil guitars. Just played around in that and was able to really um, fall in love with the um, feel of Strats and Telecasters and stuff like that. So, um, the, the huge jump I decided to take today was getting an American one um, and that's more so for me more so than anything because tonally there's no huge difference between the two um, in my opinion but you know um, 
I just wanted a American guitar, um, something that was made in the U.S., and um, finally was able to get it. Um, I had to trade in three guitars for this one, and that was the Fender. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, that was the Schecter CR6, the Schecter Reaper, and my Nick Johnston um, guitar. And that one, I really, I, I honestly did hate seeing that go, um, because I have grown to love that guitar. But I'm optimistic that I'll love this one. Oh wow! Look at this. Nice. Wow. My first American made guitar. That is so right off the back, you can see, like in the back, I can't show you the actual uh, serial number, but it says US. Um, let me see if I can block it out at least. And you can see, like, where it says where it's from Corona, California, US model so this is just like really like a surreal feeling for me like even just taking this thing out of the box and everything and um haven't played it haven't literally just you know you guys saw me literally take it out the box gonna play around with it um oh, i gotta push pull toggle to separate that humbucker i was curious to know i um didn't read that in the description um, if they had that, but so they do have that option if you want a classic Telecaster um, sound. So that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, so this this guitar again, it feels really really nice. Um, the only gripe I have is that this is definitely like a buttercream guitar this is there is no way that this is just an age white guitar according to what guitar center's um, website says um i could be wrong hit me up in the comments but i believe that this is definitely some kind of of a buttercream butter popcorn yellow um or canary yellow maybe even type of guitar but um yeah so Oh, now I back to the story is um, I had to trade in um, my Schecter Reaper, um, Schecter uh, CR6, and my Nick Johnston, and I love that Nick Johnston guitar. Um, and I was optimistic even getting that one just because, and um, just because I wanted to get a new one, and. You know, I, I really grew to love that one, and I'm very optimistic, especially when it comes to new guitars. So I'm very optimistic that I will actually love this one just as much, if not more, um, than my Nick Johnston one that I had previously. Um, time will tell, and you guys will get an updated, um, you guys will get an updated, like, uh, review of this, maybe like 30 days later. I'm, I have a lot of studio uh work to to hop right into so obviously this is my primary guitar right now i have a lot of um a few um live performances that i'm gonna be jumping into as well this week um so that way you know you guys may get a review actually sooner honestly but um but yeah and also you know the guitar covers are gonna keep coming um, obviously, I'm going to be using this one um, so you guys could get a feel and sound uh, sound quality of, you know, this, this guitar. Uh, and, yeah, so, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if you guys want more, let me know. I definitely respond and I, and I see everyone's um, comments. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, then just let me know. I appreciate you guys watching this. Again, if you guys um, enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
there's going to be more videos coming soon um more diverse videos as well so be on the lookout for that um yeah so until next time i'll talk to you guys later